Hey everybody, Mark Spect the Comics and I'm back. This time I want to show you guys one of the books I have on my 2022 goal list that I finally obtained. If you're interested in that, please stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, I was able to obtain one of my 2022 goal books. Well, really, it's been a goal book of mine for probably a couple years now. I had a chance last year to pick up this book at a convention at Terrificon. Uh, we just couldn't end up working a deal with the, uh, with the dealer. So that fell through. And then since then, I haven't been able to see one in person until this week. So uh, I went back to the comic shop, like I said previously, that had all the, that had, you no, know, the owner purchased that big collection, Golden Age, Silver Age, Bronze Age, um, gave it a couple of weeks so that if somebody, you know, had the opportunity to go there and pick up some of the books if they were interested. Books were still there. Like I said, like I showed in my last video. Um, so I ended up picking up some Captain Marvel Jr., Wiz Comics, uh, they had some Superman, you know, Batman, Avengers, you name it. They had a little bit of everything for everyone who was interested. And uh, I was going to cash out and ended up looking at the books, you know, his wall books that are right behind the cash register. And I was like, oh, let me take a look at this book real quick just to make sure that it was what it was. And um, it ended up being a book I was looking for. So here it is. Submariner, issue number 37. And uh, it is from 1954, as you can see there. It is a Cold War cover. Um, I believe this is a cover done by Joe, I want to say Joe Manili. Yeah, you can see his uh, little signature there. It's pretty small. All right, so uh, like I said, it's a Joe uh, Manili cover. Um, it is a lower grade book. You see there's some, uh, obviously, a little piece there that came off. Um, looking at it closer, let's see, definitely some wear, staples a little rusty, that's fine though, uh, the book is complete, okay, complete, good old little ad there, fix any car in a jiffy, that's pretty cool, um, and uh, as you can see here, it's attached, a little stain in the back, but uh, the book's complete. There's no issues with it. Um, if you're not familiar with Namor the Submariner, uh, obviously first appeared in um, Motion Picture Funnies as a movie promo, and then uh, Marvel Comics 1 was basically the uh, first full renditioning of uh, Namor the Submariner. One of the OG Marvel superheroes, anti-villains, um, first mutant, you name it. First Marvel team up, a lot of firsts for this character. And I can't wait for this character to eventually appear in the MCU, which uh, has been a lot of speculation that the character is going to be in Black Panther, uh, Black Panther 2 coming up. So um, Another thing, uh, issue 37 is towards the end of the Namor uh, Sub Submariner run. I believe it's 41 is the last issue. This is the second to last issue uh, before the comics coach shows up. So this is in uh, late 50, 1954. So pretty cool. Uh, obviously stuff like this you don't see printed in comics anymore because of the code. You can see he's fighting some commies there. Uh, it's a war cover. It's really fantastic. I love yellow covers in the Golden Age. They just stand out. So I'm excited. I'm excited to finally have my uh, first uh, Golden Age Submariner. It knocks it off the list, a book I've been looking for for years. Um, and, you know, a book this old, you can't really be afraid to just open it up and uh, go through it, read it. You know, I see a lot of people buy these big grail books. And, um, you know, this is not a grail book, but it's, you know, personal grail. Um, but sometimes they're just afraid to open it up and read it. So after I finish this recording, I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to read the stories because you got to enjoy your comics too, you know?
So uh, that's it. You know, that pretty much solidifies my 2022 goal books. The only thing I have left is just the two issues for Moon Knight Volume 1, and then I'm done. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys a fan of Namor the Submariner? Have you heard of the character? Have you read any of the um, comics he may be in or have been in? Uh, just let me know down in the comments down below. And uh, until next time, Mark's with the comics. Out.